New tonight, Limestone County siblings are searching for answers after their brother was hit and killed in December in Athens. According to the Athens Police Department, Erskine Jacobs was crossing the road when he was run over. Two months after the incident, investigators still looking for who's responsible. News 19's Daryl Burke joins us live now from Athens. Daryl, what did Jacobs family have to say about this unsolved case? Lauren, I'm standing near the intersection where Jacobs was killed and his siblings tell me it's a tragedy that is difficult to process and they're searching for answers. They say the hardest part is knowing the person responsible is still out there. Still in shock, confused. It doesn't feel like it's real. It's been two months since Erskine Jacobs was hit and killed near the intersection of Highway 72 and Hind Street in Athens while walking to a friend's home. The Athens Police Department says it's still investigating. Jacobs' siblings say it's been an emotional start to the new year without their oldest brother, who they say kept the family together. He just was a, a joy to be around. And I'm just missing a part of me. I'm really still numb. It's numb. It's like I'm living in a, in a dream and I can't wake up. Jacobs' sister Tara says her home is a few blocks away from where her brother's life was taken. And each time she travels near the location, it reminds her that he's no longer here. I have to go out that way to work every morning. I have to come back that way every morning. And I have to stop at that light and look all both ways to make sure it's clear. And when I take that left, I always see my brother there just laying there and someone just kept on going. Jacobs' family says they've had a hard time understanding how the person responsible can sleep at night. They're pleading with the public to come forward with any information that could help solve the case. If you was in the parking lot, if you was behind the car, in front of the car, if somebody seen something or just tell us anything for closure. It's just hard to go on, you know. But you just got to go on. I just wish the person that did it just take, just step up to the plate and get this over with. So my brother can rest in peace. Investigators with the Athens Police Department say they're looking for a tan beige colored Honda CRV that likely has damage to the front and driver's side rearview mirror area. Anyone with information is asked to call the department, and that number can be found on our website at whnt.com. For now in Athens, Daryl Burke. News 19.